Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you how you can rotate and open a door in Unreal Engine. Here I've added a door frame as you can see and I also exported a door. It's going to be a glass door and a frame for that door. So all of those I needed to export in th from 3ds Max and uh, position the corner uh, the world 000 at this right corner that's the way our door is going to turn around this axis so make sure you position it right okay now I'm gonna go and do some script on my door here asset action create blueprint for this so let's create a blueprint call it door open blueprint and click OK now the reason for uh, making this on a door frame that's gonna allow us to place the door anywhere and the door opening will still function so we can rotate it and uh, flip it and that way we're gonna keep our script working first I need to duplicate this door frame call it door and here I'm going to select my door, my glass door. All right, so we can see I have a door frame and a glass door. And now I'm going to select my top component, click add, box, collision. And now we have under the door frame, we have the box and we have the door. So let's call it glass door door frame and let's fix our box here this is where the action is going to happen every time we are going to be within this area the script is going to be activated and the door will open every time we're gonna press E so I'm gonna show you how to do it with the E key all right just make it a little bigger like that okay good now we can go to event graph delete here everything select the box right click add event collision at component begin overlap and the same thing select box at component collision and overlap so this is going to begin and end our function now from begin we have to enable input and from end disable input and for him from the player controller we need to get the player controller get player controller and that's about it for that function now let's add a functionality every time we're gonna press E so right click E key right here and every time E key pressed we need to add timeline let's call this door rotation double click and here we can add a floating track call it door open and if we click shift we can create two points one here and one here now on the first point we need to zero it up zero zero and the second point it's going to be two seconds and the value is going to be 90 degrees all right so let's click those to, to zoom in now with shift we need to uh, with control we need to select 
both of those right click auto right click auto so you can see we're getting this nice line of easing in and easing in out uh, the door open okay so this we can close you can see we got a door open parameter here so let's drag our door here and from here let's do set relative rotation and connect it to the update here and from though open let's make a rotation make rotator and uh, with alt disconnect it and connect it to the z because we're going to rotate it on the z axis and the value will go here to the new rotation all right so this will open our door let's click compile and close this now let's go locate our door door find this glass door frame here we go now let's position it click F all right so we got our door positioned well let's see if the script works click play let's get to the door click E the doors open now we need to set up uh, programming to close that door okay so I'm going to go back to my blueprint this glass door frame and here we need to set up a few things so first we need to put a branch on pressed branch and so if it's true play if it's false reverse so that's for the key it will ask every time we press it now for the Z rotation we need to add a float and ask if this is bigger than one then open the door and if not go to that condition so basically that should work this way but it's better to make it a little bit cleaner by setting a uh, variable so let me disconnect that and let's create a new variable call it closed door and drag it here close door get put it in the condition drag it one more time set connect it to the float and from here we actually need to set a tick event tick so it will actually go and check every frame if the door is closed or open and it will run this algorithm let's click compile close it play and let's see if this functionality works whoops so e to open and e to close voila the good thing uh, about it is that um, if you copy this and rotate it, let's see if this works. I'm going to select my door frame here and I'm going to move it with Alt and duplicate that door frame. I'm going to rotate it a little bit to the side and see if it's still making our script work 
All right, let's click play. Come to the door, open, closed. So you see, it's very useful uh, script. If you have multiple doors in your project, you can duplicate them and put them in, uh, in the rooms. So your user will be able to open and close them. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Share it with your friends. This is Alex, your V-Ray guy. Talk soon, ciao.